Momofuku Milk Bar is a famous New York bakery where they turn decadent cereal milk into ice cream. It's like the sweet milk left behind in your bowl after eating Fruity Pebbles, maybe? Lifestyle expert Roni Proder is here to show us how to recreate this ice cream at home. Perfect for the hot summer. This is weird. Cereal milk ice cream. Well, it's it's true. Imagine the best part of eating Fruity Pebbles Ooh, is drinking that milk at the end, and it's like that beautiful light pink color, and it's so delicious. Sweet. Yes. So we're going to turn it into okay. ice cream, but we're even stepping it up one notch further by using the new summer flavor from Pebbles, which is the rainbow sherbet ice cream fruity pebbles so we're doing it we're doing it both ways so we got it all going yes on. we have it all going on okay okay so the first thing we need to do is take our sherbet uh fruity pebbles and if you want to add the milk go ahead and add the milk okay so you've got your milk poured we're and here pour is milk. a very important step you just have to let this steep you want to add some sugar because okay. remember that That's when brown sugar yes even more sugar stir so, it yep you can stir it okay so what makes cereal uh, what makes ice cream so good um is that it's sweet however when things are cold those taste buds are numb so you actually want to make it sweeter than what you would think ice cream should be okay so how long do we let this we're sit? gonna let it sit for half an hour then you strain it through a fine mesh sieve then you add let's go over here to the stove top and this is where i kind of made my own version the momofuku version calls for like gelatin and all sorts of things that i just don't have and don't want to mess with so like you, you strained your milk yes. got your milk mm -hmm. then i added some some more milk some heavy cream because we're talking good ice cream here, right? Why not? Do you want to try this already? Just try it now. Okay, so this is the yes, and milk and milk uh -huh. cream and, and so the egg yolks and a little more sugar and a pinch of salt. You want that balance of sweet and salt. Yum. I'll just drink that. It's so mind. good. I mean, imagine it tastes just like the ice cream pebbles um, milk. So then you know it tastes want, better than it that. It tastes better, right? So you cook it. You uh, temper your eggs, and then you want to let it cool completely. And now here is the fun part. Let's make it into ice cream. Okay. So if you wouldn't mind, pour it in. Pour it in here. And we're using this Cuisinart ice cream maker. This is um, from Sur La Top, so it's very easy. You can, you know, pick it up at your okay. nearby Sur La Top. Put this so top you on. So you it, pour yes. it into your ice cream maker. Sure that it's cool. And then you just press ice cream. And start. And what I love about this is that no matter, it's foolproof. So if you're doing gelato or sorbet or whatever, all you have to do is press whichever button it is and press start. I can make this ice cream. cream. You can make this ice cream. I can do this. So to take it even one step further, I took my waffle cone and I did white chocolate. I just warmed some white chocolate. I dipped the white chocolate into more of the ice cream love that. pebbles. And now let's make an ice cream. This is cute, and it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult, and I, I really worked hard to make something that I could make at home because you know that I am a home cook. So give it a try, and I'm not doing on things that take too long. I know, I like something simple, and then you can just keep it in, you know, a plastic container. Yum. Isn't that so delicious? <laughs> so please just drag it on the <laughs> So you just want to put this in a container that you can pop into the freezer, and you want to freeze it, and it's going to be that flavor of kind of a soft serve frozen yogurt, and so you don't even have to worry about thawing it before you scoop it out, and, and if you want to make it even better, if you choose not to do the waffle cone, you can always take some of the ice cream pebbles, sprinkle them on top, you have got an ice cream bowl that any kid or adult is going to love. Because the hot person like the waffle cone. <laughs> Delicious, isn't it? I need to quit eating so I can talk. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. You can find this recipe on our website and at dinnerreinvented.com.